Welcome to the overview video for this new Hackerstash tour series. It's gonna showcase a lot of the things we showcased and made in the uh, old Hackerstash series, but we're gonna actually develop and make some of these mechanics a lot better. For example, our collision is gonna miss a lot less and some of the other functionalities have been improved. So let's start off with the basic locomotion. We have a double jump. Everything else is pretty much the same, just basic running, jogging. And we also have basic combat, which is light attacks. We also have heavy attacks. Now we also have um, a combo system, but in the last series, I showcased two uh, different combo systems. In this series, we're only gonna showcase one, just so that all of us are on the same page. And so it's a heavy and light style um, combo system. So you alternate between your heavy and your light attacks. And you always start with the heavy, go into your light, and then another he uh, heavy to perform a full combo. Same way it goes for this one. And the only one that doesn't have a combo is the very last attack in the heavy. That's very typical in action games. And we have turn system with UI and a HUD, as you can see. Player and enemy has um, health. We can attack enemies. We also have dodging. And we have a dodge attack. So if we dodge and we attack, we play a dodge attack. If we run towards the enemy and attack, we perform a stinger, like you do in, like you see in DMC5. We can also launch enemies into the air. Now when we launch enemies into the air, um, it's a like DMC, we move backwards and we hit our lag attack, but instead of holding the input, we just click it once and it works. Uh, we have executions. So as you saw, we have executions. We also have aerial combat, so we have three hit aerial combat. Now we also have a rage mode, so like your double uh, your double trigger in DMC or your um, rage mode in um, Metal Gear Rising. I have VFX and overlay material to showcase it. Now, when in the rage mode, my light attack changes. As you see, my light attack sequence changes. And also, my aerial light attack will also change. So now it's a six attack, six attack sequence instead of my typical three. Um, we, you can also implement different finishers for your uh, rage mode as well. Now getting into some of the newer stuff, um, we are working on AIs in this series. And if you see this big box, this is our spawner. And so we, if I walk in, enemies will spawn at random in this area. And so if I walk in, as you can see there are two variations of enemies. We have melee enemies and we have ranged enemies. They both can do damage. And as you can see, this enemy who's glowing bluish, he is um, indicating that he's going to attack once he gets in range. As you can see, they all do damage. These ranged enemies, they also have overlay material and they also can do damage. They fire projectiles. Now we can also kill these enemies as well, of course. Even though they have functionalities, doesn't mean they're not much any different from other enemies. Yep, so there you go. Now these melee enemies can try to attack. Now we can also parry. We made a parry system. We're gonna make a parry system. And so if I hit Q, we parry our enemies. We get eye frames from doing so. This enemy wants to attack twice. We also can parry um, projectiles as well. So, so if we can get a projectile to get fired at us, I'll show you. If these enemies want to back off. As you see, boom, we launched that projectile right back at him. Looks like he dodged it. Enemies will run around in random, at random, to find a strafe location. Um, enemies will also attempt to attack when they are available to attack. Um, we're not using a fight director, it's more of just a basic timer. Now we have counters, we have execution, aerial combat. So everything seems to be going really well. We have pretty much solid combat here. So I hope you guys join me in this tutorial series. 
we will be doing a lot of different stuff. So I'll see you there.